Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. So today we are here with week three of our Rebuild Your Stash collaboration on the Facebook page, Crafty Manipulators. So for this uh, collaboration, basically you are building, rebuilding your stash. Um, so that way you need a quick goodie or if you need a quick flower or something like that, you already have one. So um, we've already done flowers. Remember we did, I did these ones and a couple other ones. We did, um, um, rosettes, which I did these ones and a couple others. Um, and today is altered paper clips and altered clothespins. So I made these a while ago. Um, you guys can check out the video for that. I think it was a live YouTube. It was a money making, or excuse me, a live Facebook on my Facebook page, coffee, cake, and crafting. It was for money making Mondays. We painted the clothespins and altered them with stickers and bows and whatnot. Um, so this is a great way to alter your paper clips. So we already have that done. Um, so, or excuse me, clothespins. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick paper clip banner. Um, I have never done these before, so we're just about to figure it out. Um, so I just pulled a few things out of my stash. I don't think I'm gonna use them. Um, those guys, they were a little too big for my paper clips. Um, and I don't know where my massive paper clips went. I do have some massive ones, but. Um, we'll deal with it later. So what we are going to use is this little um, saying, may your coffee be strong and your Monday be short. That is from the new Echo Park Coffee collection. This is the back. I'm so excited for this collection. I haven't opened it. I just bought this loose sheet because I knew I wanted to cut these apart. And so I bought the loose sheet as well. Um, I did cut off this love, but we'll see. Okay, so I'm going, I want mine to be super long, um, maybe four, maybe five inches. So I need to go ahead and cut my paper to 10. Right now it's at 12, so I'm just gonna cut off two inches. That's all I did was cut it down to 10. I'm going to fold it in half. Oh, not on camera, sorry. I'm just folding it in half. I cut it down like that because I don't know how long I want this. Um, I did watch a tutorial um, on how somebody made theirs, and she is Kimmy Kim. Um, so that's why I watched how to make them. So now I'm just going to kind of gauge how I want this to look. So I do want the... Um... Oh, I like that. Okay. So what Kimmy Kim did is she put a staple right there. Um, I don't have this tiny Tim Holtz stapler that she used, so I'm just going to go ahead and put a piece of um, score tape. You can use glue, but I feel like it's going to take um, too long to dry for video purposes. So I'm just going to put a piece of score tape right there. And just try, you're just basically closing it up on the... On the um, paper clip. So all I'm doing is positioning it where I want because once I close it that's the end of it and I didn't position it very nicely but it still looks really cute. Okay so there we go. So I don't know if I want it that long. I'm just layering it up. Let's see if I can get a better light in here. Okay, so this is how I want mine to look. So I'm going to go ahead and glue it down. Um, normally I would use my hot glue, but um, I didn't turn it on. So I'm just going to use some score tape. I just use hot glue because it's cheaper. Um, if you're just making like one or two for yourself or as a gift, you're fine. But if you're going to mass produce these for um, craft shows, I would suggest using hot glue. Cause like I said, it's just cheaper. One's not better than the other in, in this project anyway. Um, I do want to go ahead and pop that up a little bit. So I'm going to just use my foam dots. Um, I don't have any on this sheet. So I just use the, um, the sides. It's all the same. Okay. So, oh, look at that. I cut that perfectly. 
So I'm just going to put some foam tape on either side. So yeah, use all of it. I mean, just because it's not the circle doesn't mean you can't use it. And I'm going to put one in the middle so I don't have the um, sinking middle syndrome. There we go. It's probably overkill on the foam tape, but it's the edges, so I don't really care. And I get this from Dollar Tree. So it's not. A, I don't think it's a waste. Okay. So let's just go ahead and line this up on my mat so I can see. Pretend like I know how to put things straight. And I want this to be kind of in the center. Maybe a little bit closer to the bow. And right now I'm just seeing which I like the best, whether I like it up under the bow or below the bow. I think I like it in the bow like this. And so I'm just gonna stick it down. Okay. So there's that. And I think it's crooked. Okay, that's fine. At least I know where I want it positioned. So now however you need to get it so that way it's straight. Oh man, today's gonna be one of those days where I just can't get anything straight. Okay, we're not gonna play with it anymore. That's good. Um, okay, it's not good. <laughs> Do y'all ever have these days where you just, I don't know. There we go. Straight enough. I'm done. Okay. So now you can decide if you want to keep a long page like that, or if you want to cut it and, um, banner it, but I don't think I want a banner for this one. I think I just want it to be straight. So I'm just going to take my paper trimmer and I'm just going to cut off a little bit at a time until I get to the desired length. So I could cut this up and make it into a banner. Um, but I don't think I want a banner. I think I want this. So one more time, I'm going to try to straighten this. Um, the reason why I can pull this foam tape up so easily is because I did not press it down. Um, when I set it because I didn't I knew I didn't like the way I set it on there. So if you don't press it down, like if you just drop it on, you can peel it up. Okay, now it's completely straight. So I do want to go ahead and round the corners, um, I think, on it. So, oh, that's not even the right one. I just want a little bit round, so I'm just going to use the fourth of an inch. Like so and we're done so i am going to glue mine closed because i don't need all of that open um but other than that we are done with the banner that is so cute so you can do that um you can take your stickers if you want i got these holiday petaloo dazzlers and you can just stick two back to back like so um you just hot glue it or stick it in between two of them, which I think I'm just going to stick it in between two of them. So that way you have um, some reinforcement. So I'm just sticking it on the end of the clip. And let me grab another one. Hopefully they're the same size. I didn't even think to measure. And there you go. So it's very simple to alter your paper clips. Um, very simple to alter your clothespins. These were clothespins that we altered. Um, so yeah, so there you are guys. Have a great day.